Hey, my name is Rubidium. In honor of the new Blade Runner film, we are checking out the very science fiction Quasar Tube LEDs. Lighting in film and television tends to go through phases. First, they had these big tungsten lights, then HMIs, then kino floors were on the scene, fluorescent lighting became really popular. And the last five years has sort of been the age of the LED. Um, what these things do, these quasar tubes do, is package an LED inside a fluorescent fixture. So you have the form factor of a fluorescent. Um, you can place it in lots of different areas. You can use it with um, existing fixtures, but the dimmability and color temperature changes of an LED. More probably, most importantly, is the price of an LED. These four foot um, daylight balanced tubes are about, I think I bought them for 75 bucks. This uh, larger one here that's um, dual temperature, uh, it has a little swivel on the end. You can change the color temperature with and it's about 200 bucks. They have internal ballasts, so you don't need to have any other little things hanging off them. It's just a plug straight into the wall or like I have here, you can run them into dimmers. Um, you can run multiple ones into the same dimmer and bring in and out the levels that you want. I've had the um, bicolor one for a couple of months now and it is sort of tricky to rig, or not tricky, but I didn't have the existing um, ability to put it the places that I wanted it. I sort of had it on this um, Matthews clamp and I would just clamp the, um, clamp the light in the middle of the, uh, but if you want to project it out over something, it can get really, uh, that can become really difficult to do. So I came up with this idea of using um, quarter inch conduit housing uh, that you can buy at Home Depot, about three or $4 for 10 feet, cutting it in half so you have these um, five foot sections and then attaching the LED to I came up with this um, system of the five foot length of conduit with these small little um, broom hooks that you use to attach um, brooms and mops to walls. And I have three of them along the length. You can rig the light to a C-sand knuckle, um, project it out over your talent, project it up into the, uh, get it up into the ceiling where you want it to be, get it behind people um, without having to crank down too hard on the clamp and potentially damage the light to stop the light sagging. And you can see um, that they're not attached, but I can pull them out of the housing um, to store them, to transport them, if I want to use it to a different um, application. Actually came up with it because I wanted to do this exact lighting setup. I wanted to get a, um, a triangle of light uh, for a, uh, a sci-fi project um, and couldn't get the clamp to, on a C-stand, couldn't get the clamp to hold the light in the position I wanted it. The way that I was able to do this was um, clamping the metal pole to my desk with just normal A clamps, then um, using a drill smaller than the screw that comes with the broom holders, put three little holes in the pole itself. It is really hard to use the drill on a circular surface. There's no point getting a $75 light and then having to buy a $200 fixture um, to put it in. Now that I have them set up, there's a couple of different ways that I can use these. Here's another sort of setup for them, which is like a kind of like a floating kino flow where you sh instead of using a kino flow above and below camera uh, to do your fill, to do your key and your fill, you can set the lights up um, where you have three tubes, two above and one below the camera. Um, so you're not having to use as much power and you're stopping down um, to get the exposure that you want. Gonna throw a few more of those on the channel. Uh, hope you guys like this video. There's more to come.